We've been following the development of the most powerful radio telescope in the world, known as Meerkat, on our doorstep in the Karoo. Up to now it's been a bit abstract if you're not a space geek, but I've had the privilege of meeting some of the scientists who've had the access to the early data collected by Meerkat, and what they're able to see is totally mind-blowing. Where do we come from? Why are we here? How did it all begin? These are some of our most profound questions. For many, the key to unlocking these mysteries is to look up into the night sky with telescopes, providing a window to the great unknown. A hundred years ago, this telescope in Johannesburg was the most advanced in the country. But now that honor belongs to the Meerkat Radio Telescope, which just dwarfs it in terms of size and scale. Situated in the Karoo, Meerkat is currently the world's most powerful radio telescope and is the precursor to one of the largest scientific endeavors in history, the Square Kilometer Array. The South African Radio Astronomy Observatory administers Meerkat. Dr. Adrian Tiplady is Deputy MD. It's going to be the world's largest radio telescope. How does it differ from an optical telescope like the Hubble? Well, the Hubble, or the Southern African Large Telescope in Sutherland, uh, is really capturing light waves which are being emitted by objects around us. So you can really imagine a radio telescope as collecting all of the radio energy that is being emitted by hot gas, stars, galaxies. And so what we're doing with a radio telescope is you're capturing all of that radio energy with a giant dish and connecting, it, connecting all of the signals together in one big giant supercomputer and creating radio images of the sky. In trying to see objects very far away, optical light waves can be obscured by the dust and gas of outer space. But with radio telescopes, astronomers are able to see past this interference to visualize objects millions, if not billions of light years away. Building of the SKA will allow us to study them like never before. It's a next generation facility. What it's doing is it's going to answer some of the very fundamental questions we have about the laws of nature and the laws of physics. It's going to be the biggest radio telescope in the world, about 50 to 100 times more powerful and more sensitive than anything that has been built in history. The SKA will only become operational in 2030, but a tantalizing glimpse of its potential can be seen with Meerkat. One of the first scientists able to access its power was the University of Virginia's Alison Matthews. So since we were part of what we would call commissioning the telescope, we got access to some of the observations that were taken to test out some of the uh, telescope's capabilities. It reaches sensitivities that allow us to detect galaxies like our own Milky Way as they were, you know, 10 billion years ago. So it might look like you're just looking at a bunch of little white dots. It almost looks like white noise. But actually, every one of those dots is a galaxy. And some of those galaxies are 10 billion years old. I'm standing inside the control room of Meerkat here in Cape Town. And from this location, scientists are able to remotely operate the most powerful radio telescope in the world that's actually hundreds of kilometers away. Since it became operational in 2018, Meerkat has been in constant use, as Clifford Gomedi explains. I've got a group of about 12 telescope operators who work in this control room every day for 65 days a year, 24 hours a day, and they work in shift. And so the telescope is always operational. So those massive dishes are controlled, what, from these keyboards? The telescope operator sits in this room and uses these keyboards to actually control the telescope. So you can be able to see from these screens what the telescopes are doing. More recently, UCT's Dr. Jacinta Del Hayes discovered two of the biggest giant radio galaxies ever observed. She was able to share this and other meerkat discoveries on her podcast called The Cosmic Savannah. Today we'll be talking about an exciting nature paper publication that's come out from the Meerkat telescope where they found huge bubbles around the centre of the Milky Way. We found two giant radio galaxies with Meerkat. Um, they hadn't been found before. And just the mere fact that we could detect them with Meerkat is demonstrating how powerful Meerkat is. All galaxies have supermassive black holes in the centre, most of them. But in some cases, you've got some stuff, some gas and dust 
falling into this black hole. And as this happens, there's uh, charged particles like electrons are getting kind of trapped in the twisted magnetic fields near the supermassive black hole and are getting funneled out into space. And this causes like a, like a jet, so you can imagine like the, the jet, water jet of a, of a whale, which ends in a big plume. And these plasma jets actually are glowing but not in optical light, like what we can see with our eyes, but in, in radio light, like we can see with radio telescopes. These galaxies are enormous, 23 times the size of the Milky Way, which itself is 100,000 light years in diameter. This is part of our map from the MITEI survey, and you can see one of the giant radio galaxies here and another one here. And so this is what we saw as soon as we looked at the map. You could see these big streaks through the sky, which we knew were not there before. Uh, up to recently, you were using um, a radio telescope in where? In Mexico? In New Mexico, in the USA, I was using a telescope called the Very Large Array, the VLA. How do those images compare with Meerkat? So that's a really great question. Here you can see that we are not detecting the, the giant radio galaxy at all. All we can see is the core here. And this purple outline is showing you where the Meerkat data is. So you can see that there is nothing in the VLA image in the background and we're detecting something um, with Meerkat. A team led by UCT's Dr. Tom Jarrett has developed software that allows them to explore images captured by Meerkat in virtual reality. So the most intuitive way to look at data, to, to think about data, to interrogate it is in three dimensions. Because VR is not about looking at something like this, it's about being inside of it. You're inside the data, just like you're inside your environment now. They say a picture tells a thousand words. Tom's colleague, Angus Comrie, allowed me to explore faraway galaxies for myself. So what you're seeing in front of you here is a cosmological simulation of the universe in a box, basically. And you can see the structure of these lines between different clusters of galaxies, which is what's known as the cosmic web. So it's, it's almost like you're holding the data you know, in your hand and you can just reach out and, and, and touch it. So each of those little dots that you're seeing is a radio galaxy. And we're mapping them into three dimensions based on, on their frequency measurements. Jeez, this is incredible. Right, so now what you're seeing is actual Meerkat data of a radio galaxy. Yeah. But each of those blocks represents a data point that's been measured with Meerkat, and in this case, what you're looking at here is the inside of a galaxy. So you've now stuck your head inside. And if these are the things that Meerkat is discovering, one can only imagine what the SKA will reveal. I absolutely can't wait for the SKA. It's going to revolutionize our understanding of the universe, of galaxy evolution, of radio galaxies. It's going to be a really big deal. We will be able to receive signals that will be traveling through the universe for millions, if not billions of years. And perhaps in 10, 20 years time, I'll be able to put together an, a movie of the evolution of the universe and to see how stars and galaxies have been, were created and be able to fit that against models to really understand and probe the laws of nature and the laws of physics. Thank you for watching our stories here online and please subscribe below to become part of our YouTube community and be notified when we upload our latest content.